Hey everybody, welcome back. Call of Duty Warzone 2 just dropped, and you know what that means. It's time to play anything else. Uh, today we're playing Is It Spells in Explorer Best of One. Anybody who's been playing since 2013 knows about Young Pyromancer. It's a 2 mana 2 1 that says when you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you make a 1 1 red elemental creature token. Well, nine years later, and apparently he has a brother named Third Path Iconoclast. It's uh, blue now, but uh, it says that whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you get a 1-1 colorless soldier artifact creature token. Now that we have 8 copies of these, um, the deck itself is a little bit more consistent with playing a 2-mana creature and then casting uh, more spells to make a bunch of 1-1s to overrun the battlefield. We have a bunch of cantrips in the form of Consider and Opt, which mostly do the same thing. Uh, it's one blue mana, draw a card, and then you either get to Surveil one or you get to Scry one. We have Removal with uh, Reckless Rage, Strangle, Spike Field Hazard, and uh, Fires of Victory, as well as a little bit of counter magic to protect our creatures with Make Disappear. We have a little bit more aggro with Soulscar Mage, which gets prowess with all the non-creature spells that we cast, as well as uh, card advantage and uh, late game with uh, Of One Mind and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. We play 20 lands in this deck, and we also have a companion since all of the spells in our deck are a single color mana pip. Let's get into it, but first, do you want a chance to win a free pack of Return to Ravnica? Stick around until the end of the video to find out more details. Okay, this is pretty good. We get a couple of Soulscar Mages as well as removal on turn two. Of One Mind gets a lot better once we get Iconoclast or Young Pyromancer on the field. Let's start with Soulscar Mage. Okay, opponent starts with a uh, land that can produce black mana, probably a fatal push. Let's go ahead and play a land and we'll just go to attacks. Okay, we get in for one. Let's go ahead and play our other Soul Skirmage, and we'll pass it back to our opponent. Okay, opponent did have the Fatal Push. Opponent plays Unlucky Witness. We will not destroy that. We don't want it to die so that uh, our opponent doesn't get extra card advantage. Let's go ahead and play of one mind. Three mana draw two isn't the best, but uh, it's better than doing nothing. Okay, opponent gets another copy of Fatal Bush. Opponent plays Fable, gets a 2-2 Goblin, when it attacks they get to make a treasure token. Let's see if we can draw some kind of uh, answer or threat. Okay, we draw our own Fable. Let's go ahead and play Fable. Okay, opponent gets to loot two cards. Plays another Unlucky Witness. Let's see if they have a way to destroy it. When it swings in, I think we go ahead and block that. Let's go ahead and drop our land and the Reckless Rage since we don't have uh, a way to uh, put a creature on the field at the moment. Okay. I think I'm going to dig a little bit further. See if I can find a Young Pyromancer or Iconoclast. Okay, nothing so far. We could try to Spike Field Hazard the Witness. It would exile it, so it wouldn't trigger its death trigger. But if our opponent has a way to sacrifice it on the stack, then our opponent basically gets to uh, two for one us. Yeah, opponent's got priority for something. I'd say let's go ahead and just not try to uh, spike field hazard the uh, the witness this turn. Okay. Opponent flips Fable. Gets uh, Reflection of Kiki Jiki so he can start uh, making copies of his creatures. 
Okay, let's take the one damage there. Opponent doesn't do anything else. We don't want our opponent to be able to just make copies of Witness because the copy that he makes from Reflection triggers the death trigger and the opponent can just start getting a lot of value. Go ahead and try to destroy the, the Witness. Okay, so opponent did have the uh, Village Rights. So opponent exiles two land cards off the top. We flipped our own Reflection. Let's try to strangle their Reflection. Okay, so opponent has Deadly Dispute. We can go ahead and counter that. And opponent does have Fatal Push for our Reflection. Okay, opponent plays Witch's Oven. Okay, we'll scry a land at the bottom, because we already have four. Don't need more than that, really. Maybe a fifth mana for the fires. If we put Gigantha in hand, we open ourselves up a little bit. Opponent could have a uh, Mayhem Devil in hand that we might want to counter. Fires would also destroy a Mayhem Devil. Um, but Fires could handle the Mayhem once it resolves, but then opponent gets uh, food. Let's go ahead and put Gigantha in hand. Okay, opponent activates Hive. Opponent exiles a spell out of our graveyard. Let's go ahead and opt and try and find a, uh, a young pyromancer or something. Okay, so there's young pyromancer. It's not great to just throw it out there. Let's go ahead and pass turn. Okay, opponent puts their own Gigantha in their hand. And plays the Obnixilis. They don't have a way to uh, cast it with casualty, so it's just the one copy of Obnixilis. Let's go ahead and counter that. Okay, we'll put Young Pyromancer into play. Now if opponent plays um, any of their creatures, we can Fires of Victory it. Opponent plays Fatal Push. We don't want to Fires our own Young Pyromancer. We got our fifth land. Let's go ahead and just play Gigantha. Okay, opponent's going to continue attacking with Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Opponent sacks Hive with Deadly Dispute. It's not something you see every day. Okay, we got another land. We don't really need that though, so let's go ahead and just go to attacks. We'll swing in for five. If opponent plays their own Gigantha, then we could uh, Fires of Victory it, draw an extra card, and deal five damage to it. Okay, opponent plays Mayhem Devil. It's not a bad one for us to destroy either. Opponent plays two Mayhem Devils. That's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and fires the victory of the first one. We don't want a Reckless Rage because if we do too much damage to our own Gigantha, then opponent can actually destroy it. Okay, so opponent sacks Witch 7, or sacks Mayhem Devil to Witch 7. Opponent can only sacrifice one thing this turn. So we can go ahead and destroy it now. 
go with Reckless Rage and hit our own Gigantha. Okay, we get in for five. If one has a treasure token, they probably have another fatal push in their hand. Because they were holding up priority. Yeah, I don't think there's any point to putting a Soul Scar Mage on the battlefield in this case. Okay, opponent plays their own Gigantha. I'm gonna place Fable. We're not gonna bother with killing the Goblin in this case because opponent's probably gonna have to block with it here in a minute. On this upcoming turn, we're gonna go ahead and fires the Gigantha. Opponent's gonna have to uh, sack it with Witch Seven, otherwise we draw a card. Okay, so now we go in for five. Opponent could go ahead and just activate one of their food tokens to gain three life. That looks like that's what they're gonna do. So they'll go up to seven, we get in for five. We're at nine, so opponent's not really gonna have us dead anytime soon. Yep, opponent discards a uh, claim the firstborn. It's not very good in this case with uh, just a Gigantha on the field. <clears throat> Opponent gains 6 life. Let's go ahead and cast Young Pyromancer. And then we can opt and go look for uh, something else here. Get another Fable. Fable might actually be okay. It'll let us discard one of these islands. Or, well, it'll let us discard this island. I think we'll hold on to Reckless Rage. If opponent tries to... claim the Firstborn, our young Pyromancer, then we can always uh, destroy it with Reckless Rage. Doesn't look like they have it. They just have the Witch of Seven. Opponent's going to activate Den of the Bugbear. Okay, we're going to let that resolve. But we're going to destroy it before it can go to attacks. So we'll do that, and... And we'll do that. That'll give us another token, which we could block with if we want to, on this, uh, this goblin. Okay, opponent's going to sack it to get a food. Okay, we draw a third path iconoclast. Let's go ahead and cast it. Follow it up with Fable. And then opponent will probably uh, block, sack with Witch's Oven, get another food, and then gain a total of uh, six life up to nine. Okay, so opponent goes up to 6 and just takes the 5. That is completely fine. So opponent's at 1. If we draw a spike field hazard... Okay, so opponent gets a cauldron familiar, which is really good with witches' ovens. Opponent's getting close, so this next turn is going to be it. Okay, we get to loot two cards. Okay, we get to consider. So we cast consider, get a couple dudes. We do get a spike field hazard. I think we want to hold on to that. Let's go ahead and play our other fable. And now I think we can swing in with everything. Okay. 
opponent makes a copy of Cauldron Familiar, so we could try to Spike Field Hazard it now. What we really want is to be able to exile it with uh, Spike Field Hazard. Okay, opponent sacrifices the familiar. They get their food. Opponent sacrifices the familiar token. Gets a food. Activates the food. Goes up to six. We have opponent at one. Which means that we win because opponent's going to activate the familiar at the end of turn and then we're just going to deal with the last point of damage or not okay opponent might be a little bit smarter than us okay opponent activates the familiar puts it into play we lose one opponent tries to make a copy of familiar i think we can risk that Okay, opponent sacrifices the cat. Put cat into play. We lose one. They gain one. Opponent sacks the cat. Puts it into play. We're at one, they're at five. Yep, and opponent concedes. Wow, that was a close game. We'll take it. Seems good to me. We have a turn one Soulscar Mage and some spells. Alright, let's go to combat. Opponent could have a shock effect. Doesn't look like they do. Let's go ahead and opt. So a third land if we need it. I don't know if we do just yet. Okay, we find a one mind. I want to play as a creature. Firebrand. I decided not to kill it that turn because I wanted to use Strangle to uh, get a little extra damage in with Soulscar Mage. Um, we're not looking for more Soulscar Mage. Maybe we could. Go ahead and keep it. Okay, we'll strangle Firebrand. Get him for three. Pass it back. Okay. Opponent plays Lightning Strike on our Soulscar Mage. Let's go ahead and play another one, and we'll pass it back to our opponent. We'll cast one of our considers on uh, opponent's opponent's turn here. Let's go ahead and consider. Try and two for one our opponent here. Okay, we don't need Fable. Okay, we got a third land. Could be good. Opponent plays Kimono. Don't think we want to block here. We'll play land. We'll go ahead and opt. Let's see if our opponent holds priority for anything. Doesn't look like they do. We're not going to need this land, so we'll go ahead and scry that to the bottom. Get another land anyway. Let's go ahead and destroy this hopeful initiate. Okay, we'll get in for three. And we'll hold up removal for our opponent's turn. Okay, opponent plays Thundering Raiju. It gets a plus one plus one counter from Kumano. We're gonna hold priority so that we can Reckless Rage. Deal four damage there. Soul Scar Mage stays alive because of prowess. Okay, comes back to our turn. Let's go ahead and consider. Okay, we'll get rid of one of these lands. We get another opt. Okay, so opponent concedes. I guess they were getting bored. Um, we'll take it though. We'll take the win. Okay, this is a good hand. We have turn one removal. 
along with uh, one of our Iconoclasts. We're not going to be able to cast the removal this turn, so let's go ahead and play this on blue so that we can cast Opt. Okay. Opponent's playing Selesnya, so maybe uh, maybe they're playing Selesnya Angels or something. Okay, we got another uh, Iconoclast. Play this on red this time. Okay, opponent gets pack leader. We got a third path iconoclast. Um, let's go ahead and cast it, and then we'll strangle the the pack leader. Okay, so we play that on red. Play strangle. We get two creature tokens, and then we'll swing in for two. Oh, if I was playing humans. That's pretty good. Do we got another land, which is actually good in this case. Uh, we're going to shock in the steam vents. Play a third path iconoclast. And then we're going to draw two cards with of one mind for one mana. I think we want to go ahead and swing with iconoclast. Um, opponent's probably going to play a collected company on their next turn. And if they block, then we get a, an iconoclast back. Okay, that is completely fine. Okay, so opponent is going to play Collected Company on their turn. I guess they didn't want to surprise us with, with some blockers. So they get a Thalia and a General Kudro. Kudro is going to exile two cards. Okay, we're going to cast Consider. We'll take the opt. Our plan here is just to swarm battlefield and try and do uh, one big swing for all, team, all 18 points of damage. Okay, opponent plays Aspirant. Gets to exile another card. Puts one more counter on Thalia from Aspirant. She does not swing, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and cast Opt on opponent's end step. See what else we can find. Can we get a Fable? That's pretty good for discarding uh, these two lands in our hand. Fires of Victory. We could cast it. Get to draw a card. Let's go ahead and cast the Fable. Okay, and we're going to keep on not swinging. Okay, opponent didn't have anything else to do with those three lands. Opponent now has six mana. Not usually what you want when you're playing humans. You want a lot less lands and more humans. Uh, we can go ahead and take five. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually discard both of these lands. We can cast Young Pyromancer. We could have hold up Fires of Victory to destroy Aspirant if we want to. If we swing in now, we only get in for 12 points of damage. Let's go ahead and just cast Opt on our opponents in step. And put us just a little bit closer to uh, having our opponent at zero. Opponent plays Werewolf Pack Leader. Okay. So opponent's going to put another 1-1 one -one counter on Thalia. But chooses not to swing this time. Let's go ahead and cast Opt. Opponent knows that they're getting close to being... Uh, being at zero. Okay, we get a spike field hazard, which isn't really what we need here. Let's go ahead and put that to the bottom. Okay, so we get a strangle and a reckless rage. That's actually kind of good. So we got two pieces of removal. 
Let's go ahead and strangle. Actually, opponent could have collected company, but they can't cast collected company because they only have access to four mana and there's a Thalia on the field. So let's go ahead and strangle the general Kudro. Yep, and opponent concedes. Good game. This deck's actually kind of good. Go ahead and keep that. Okay, we'll start off with uh, Soulscar Mage. Okay, opponent plays another um, Triome. I'm going to call them Triomes. But opponent basically has access to four different basic land types, which means that they're definitely going to be playing Domain to some extent, at the very least with uh, Leyland Binding. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cast Consider. Okay, we get a Young Pyromancer. That is, that is a card that we want. I think we're going to hold on to this Spike Field Hazard. And we'll just swing in for two. Opponent plays another Sparse Headquarters. Still have four basic land types. Let's go and play this on the backside. And we're going to hold up and make Disappear. We don't necessarily want to play uh, Young Pyromancer until we can uh, at least trigger it one time. Okay, opponent doesn't play anything. We'll go ahead and play Young Pyromancer. When it plays to Fairy, draws a card with it. Okay. Okay, so Teferi's at 5. And opponent marches. We'll go ahead and play Fable. plays Leyland Binding. Looks like they're just playing a, uh, a version of blue-white control with uh, the extra basic land types for uh, Leyland Binding, which is becoming a little more common these days. Okay, so we draw another Young Pyromancer. Let's go ahead and tap this correctly this time. Play Young Pyromancer. Play Consider. Get a land, which we do kind of need. Go ahead and play this on blue and draw two cards. No time for a break. Okay, I'm going to play Supreme Verdict. Teferi's at seven. So we're getting pretty close to uh, getting Teferi ulted. The Strangle will probably end up hitting Teferi for three at some point. Okay, we'll go ahead and play another Young Pyromancer. Play this land on blue.
opponent plays Memory Deluge. Let's go ahead and cast uh, Make Disappear. If opponent tries to remove the Young Pyromancer, we can Fading Hope to put it back in our hand. That'll give us another token to be able to swing into Teferi with. Opponent's drawn a lot of cards, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and Fading Hope the Young Pyromancer. Opponent's Teferi is at 8, so we're going to have to strangle it on this upcoming turn. Okay, we get a Soul Scar Mage. Could be better. Don't necessarily want that in this case. Okay, we got a third copy of Reckless Rage, which isn't very good against uh, control. Let's go ahead and cast Young Pyromancer. We're going to try and strangle the Teferi. Opponent might have the counter spell for it. They have three cards in hand. And six mana available. Okay. We need to move quick. Opponent plays another temporary lockdown. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, that might do it. We'll see what this next card is, but I'm pretty sure this game's over. Okay, so we get a third path Iconoclast. We can swing in with Den of the Bugbear if we want to, but then opponent can just block it with Castle Ardenvale. Game's not really over, but it's close enough. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it. Good game, opponent. Alright, so overall we went 3-1, and one, only losing to blue-white control, which is pretty good. This deck does lose access to cards such as Treasure Cruise in the Pioneer version of this deck, and so I added Fable in its place, and honestly I was pretty happy with its performance. Um, other cards that you could swap out are Soul Scar Mage for Ledger Shredders. You might be able to add extra Make Disappears or Fires of Victory based on the kinds of decks that... that you end up going against. And now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, your chance to win a free pack of Return to Ravnica. Uh, I promised would go to my first 10 subscribers, and then I learned that I can only see uh, my subscribers who have their subscribers set to public. So make sure to set your su subscriptions uh, to public, guys, so that I can see that you've subscribed to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and start my next video with uh, showing who wins this pack. And I'm hoping that it's not just the three subscribers so far that have a chance to win that pack. So make sure to set your subscriptions to public. Make sure to like and subscribe below. And if you play a version of this deck, comment below and let me know what cards you play or don't play. And to all my commander players out there, remember, always pay your one for Rhystic Study. I'll see you guys next time.